am on the floor of my craft room. Really classy like. I was actually in here trying to clean up my craft room, but um, I got distracted because my craft room is full of fun stuff. <laughs> But I am Kimbo. I blog at A Girl and a Glue Gun. And why I was in here trying to clean it up, I found these fun um, kid printables that I created for the blog a little while ago. And I wanted to share them for you because it's spring break season. We just got off of spring break. We just, uh, my kids came went back to school on Monday. So we had that whole last week. And I work from home, which means, you know, just because my kids are in spring break doesn't mean that I get to play the whole week. I actually have stuff to do and it's hard because my kids want me to play with them and I want to play with them too and I want to keep them entertained and so this all these printable packs are so fun because there's so many cute ideas and you you don't feel bad for you know doing your thing because they're on they're having fun doing their own things. Um, I usually try to offer I gotta hear on my shirt. I usually try to offer my printables for free but these printables took me forever. There's 50 pages of printables and it took me a long time to um, create them. So they're actually in my Etsy shop. They're only $5 until the end of March. So for two days they're $5 and then I'm bumping the price up. So it's a good time to get them. Spring break. They're great for summer as well. And you can just keep printing them. So I wanted to talk about a few of my favorites. Let me think. I'm trying to think of what do I, what do I want to start with. Okay, we'll start with uh, geometric art. So these printables, they have their circles, squares, and triangles. And they're so fun because the kids will fill these up. My kids made a bunch of emojis, and they made pizza, and they made, I'm trying to think, a baseball and a basketball. But you can make I'll fill these up with fun faces. I mean, you know, possibilities are endless. And like I said, you can print out a bunch of these. One for each kid. And then the triangles. I think they made one of them was a girl. And one of them is a piece of pizza. Pizza seems to be the thing. And then the squares. Lots, so lots of fun ideas. And that's what I like about them is that it just kind of lets their imaginations go. Like the first few are easy. And then when they're trying to fill out all of them, it's kind of fun. Or you could print them out. They could color in one and pass it, or they could write their names in it, you know, so you could just kind of be creative. That's what I like about it. I feel like the basics are all here, and then you can kind of let your creativity run with however you want. So that's our the geometric printables that are in there, and I love those. Those are on the blog and one of my favorite printables that I've created. Um, the next one I've been playing with my kids for years. I actually played this with my niece before I had kids. Um, I'm really creative, so I, I don't know, I try to like force creativity down my kids' throats, but this is for a do you doodle, and I know all the words are going to be backwards because of the way that the camera's flipped. But this is what the printable looks like, and there's a couple pages of these, and what you can do is you can cut them out, and then you can buy just a cheap sketch pad, notebook, or, um, little flip book from the dollar store, and you can glue these on to the bottom of, like, each page gets one of these prompts. Or you can just put them in a big pile and they can draw one. So, like, if kids are trying to decide, uh, you know, like, I want to draw a picture, what should I draw? This has got a lot of them. So, it says there's draw a mad face, design an alien, um, decorate a Christmas tree, uh, draw your favorite flower, draw your dream house. What do you want to be when you grow up? So it's just kind of fun things that get the creativity juices going. So this is an old one that my son had. So it doesn't have my cute printables. It was just my old printables. But they're just fun. Draw a picture of... Draw a picture only using circles. So if you can tell, those are all little circles. And... Draw your favorite Disney character. I can't even tell you who that is. <laughs> I'm sure he will know right off the bat. Iron Man? Is Iron Man Disney? I don't know. That's what it looks like. I can't tell though. Draw what's awake during the night. So there's an owl and a tree and there looks like there's a raccoon down there. So it's just really a fun way for those kids to be creative. That's a scary monster. See? Lots of little fun things. And so there's 
I think two or three pages of these so enough to fill up a whole notebook and like I said you can print off a bunch of them and make a notebook for each kid and these are so good in the car for traveling so if you got them all ready and then um, put them like get all, all, all the notebooks and then you can hand the notebooks out while you're on the airplane or while you're in the car great for road trips um, let's see another one is I have a bunch of ABC stuff so Oh, this is really good to help my daughter's um, a little bit behind on um, her reading and stuff so I kind of loved these because it's one of those it's like they're learning but it's fun so they don't know they're learning you know like those sneaky like when you're putting zucchini and brownies kind of thing like you feel like I'm winning because <laughs> I'm good at parenting for that reason so these are just ABC ones so this one's ABC nature so they go around and they just try to find things in nature that start with each letter. So if they find a ladybug, they would put it on L and write ladybug. Or if they find um, a carrot in the garden, they could put carrot and garden. And there are a couple different ones. So this one involves going outside, but it does, I mean, you could be in the car and try to think of things in nature. Um, there's movies. So Alice in Wonderland, Bambi, Cinderella, um, Dumbo, that kind of thing, which is a third, good thing there's Zathora because now we have a Z. And then there's food, so avocado, broccoli, you know, like all different kinds of things. And you can, personally, there's also a blank ABC one. So if you wanted um, to come up with your own, you can, it just says ABC and it has all the ABCs. So you can say, um, do things in your room that start with ABC or whatever. So you can be creative with that. There's also um, a 50 states one that have each letter for each state. And then that's me and my husband. I mean, he's, I won't tell you my age, but he's almost 40. And we play that almost every road trip. We try to see if we could, can name um, all 50 states. And then we usually get to about 47 and we always forget a couple of them. It's that, I'm really bad over there on the east. So those are the ABC printables, lots of fun things. There's another ABC bingo. So ABC Bingo, and this says you can head outside and find things, but you can stay inside just as easy. And there's a couple of these, so you could play, like all your kids can play. And then like if you wanted to have them around the house, they've got to find things and put rocks or Fruit Loops or whatever you want, marshmallows, if you want them to have a treat while they're doing it, and try to get a bingo with ABC. So it's pretty similar to this, except for they don't have to write it out. Um, I didn't put an age on this printable pack. But a lot of them are writing, and so I would think, you know, first grade and up, probably. It just depends on your kids' writing levels. Um, this is a fun one. It's called m and &M Conversation Starters. So you buy a bag of M&Ms, and then each person takes a turn drawing a color up out of the bowl. And then if it's red, you have to tell me something that you can do well. And if it's blue, describe your perfect day. So it's just a good way um, to get your kids talking. Because I don't know if your kids are like my kids, but they come home from school and I say, what did you learn today? And they said, uh-huh, uh -huh. You know, like they'll tell me that they had pizza for lunch and that's about the extent of their eight-hour day. So I kind of like this because it just kind of gets those kids talking about things. Good for car rides as well. You know, you get a little treat with the M&Ms and then you get to... Um, and learn a little bit more about your kids. So that one's not necessarily a writing game, but that one's really fun. Um, this one is a writing game. It's these cards, and they're just writing prompts. Very similar to the doodle prompts, but they're writing, so it's funny stories to write. So it says, if you could live in one Disney movie, what would it be and why? Um, what is your favorite thing to do in the winter? What's your dream vacation? So all summer long, I make my kids write reports. I They think I'm the meanest mom. But I try to pick really fun things, you know, like things that they're really interested. Like my son loves sports, so I always pick, like, you know, tell me three reasons why Steph Curry is the best basketball player, right? And so I try to make them fun. So that's what the goal of this is, is to get your kids to write. They might love to write, but my kids don't. So I love these because they just kind of... Some of them are really fun, and if you got $1,000, what would you buy? And it just makes, like I said, it makes them 
learn without actually realize that it's like homework. But So those are really fun, and there's a whole bunch of those, and you just print them out and cut them out, and you can just reuse them. I would print. There's some that I would print on soft paper, and then there's some that I would print on cardstock. And I would do these on cardstock just because you can use them over and over again. Um, okay, so there is, you might have saw it on, if you follow me on Instagram, it's a cute piggy bookmark. But there is the pattern to make um, these corner bookmarks, and you can decorate them however you want. It's just a matter of cutting them out and folding in the two flaps, and then you get to decorate it. We just made a cute emoji and rainbow, but like I said, we made a cute pig one. It's my favorite, but my daughter has a, I think she took it to school, so I couldn't find it. But it just fits over the corner, and then when you close your book, it keeps your spot. So those are in there, fun little patterns for that. There's also a pattern for 10 grams. I always want to say tanagrams, but it's not tanagrams. This is what it looks like. So you can cut out each one of these is the basics, but you could cut out a whole bunch. You could blow it up and do big ones. You could do really small ones. They uh, Silhouette has a magnetic sheet. I think maybe Avery at, no, I almost said McDonald's, Walmart. <laughs> I think they have magnetic sheets too. So you could print them out and then you color them in, and then if they're magnetic, you could play with them on the fridge. You could make little ones and put them in Altoid tins. Lots of fun options. Here's the ones that we color. And um, I can only make a fox out of these shapes. My kids can go to town and make all sorts of crazy things and patterns. They're really, they've got the brain for it, and I just can't. But if you get on Google or Pinterest and do Tangrams patterns, you will find out a whole bunch. So... This one I would recommend printing on like a cardstock or something so they're just a little bit thicker to play with, but way fun. My kids love these. And you get to color them however you want. So you could do a whole set of red and a whole set of blue. I don't know. Whatever you want. This one I love. I love them all. I love them all. That's the point of this whole pack is that I just picked all of my favorite things that I like to do with my kids and threw them in here. Um, these are photography prompts. So my daughter, I've been trying to push her into photography because I, not that I'm pushing her into it, but I'm like, if you're going to take a photo, make it cute. I don't want to see a blurry picture of the floor, you know, like let's try a little harder. So these have, um, all sorts of different fun prompts. There's also a sheet of tips that will help your kids know a little bit more about photography, like natural light and, um, you know, try to take a picture by the window, that kind of thing. So you just give them your, their phone or your phone or an Instax camera or their iPad or whatever, and then you print out these prompts. I know that's backwards. I'm sorry. So this one says something living. So they have to find something living and take a photo of it. You know, and they, the emphasis is it's not a race. It's not to see who can get this done the fastest. It's to get these really cool photos. And you could combine them in a book. You could have them take a picture of um, the prompt and then the thing so you kind of know what's going. And then there's also little games. Um, take like This game is take 10 photos of random objects close up and see if your friends can figure out what they are. You know, so really zoomed in. And um, take 10 photos of things that make you happy is another prompt. There's, I think, about four or five of these prompt pages. So there's quite a few. And they're just fun. Texture, landscape, a favorite toy, a sunset, a wheel. This one's movement. So, you know, they could take a picture of their brother or sister jumping on the trampoline. That would be movement. Just fun little things to, you know, summer gets long. Spring break gets long. And it's only a week. So, <laughs> so that's the photography tips or the photography prompts. Um, this other one is a time capsule. So you fill out, there's a bunch of paperwork to fill out. You can draw a picture. Um, you fill out things like what's the price of gas right now? What's the price of a movie? And then you fill out stuff about yourself. What's your favorite food right now? What's, you know, what class are you in? That kind of stuff. And then you fold it up. So what you do is you take one of these bottles. You could do a box too, but this is fun. You find a liter bottle, two liter bottle and you cut the top off and then you fill it with all sorts of stuff and then you tape the thing back on. 
And then there's a printable that you put on it that says do not open until a certain time and you can decide the time. And then um, you put it away in your cedar chest or something and then how fun. I just think how dumb mine would have been if I would have done that 20 years ago because it would have had, I'm sure, some lip smackers in there and um, I'm trying to think of what was really pogs. Do you guys remember pogs? Those little round stupid things, garbage pill kids cards. I'm sure those would have been stuffed in there, but how fun to open it, right? Like I totally wish I would, um, have had this. Oh, so Emily has this great idea. She says, put them in a big binder with the sheet protectors and then it's, you can use dry erase markers on them. So that was awesome. That would be great for, um, that printable. I mean, there's a lot of printables. These ABC ones would be great for that. That's a great idea. Thanks, Emily. So this time capsule is fun. My son has, you know, those paracord bracelets that all the kids made. He's got one of those and he has a rubber band bracelet and there's a marble and there's a Minecraft guy. And then there's a picture of him and his football team and some football cards, Dallas Cowboy football cards. And then a picture he drew. Um, so it's just kind of fun. And I love it because, you know, all those I'm the worst, but I hate those little things that they get at birthday parties, like the quarter crap things that your kids think that they need to keep, but they just clutter up your mess. So my son threw a bunch of those in there. So I kind of like it because I just feel like it gets it out of the way and they can fill it all the way to the top with whatever junk they think is super important. But I just think how fun is this going to be in 15 years when he's pulling out this random thing and reading about how... Steph Curry is the best, and he's probably not going to have a clue who Steph Curry is in 20 years. So, really fun time capsule. So, all the printables are in there. You'll have to supply the bottle, of course, and all the stuff to put in it. But there is ideas of things to put in. Like, there's a printable of things. Like, these. Would, this would be some fun stuff to put in there. Like, a newspaper, um, that kind of stuff. So, I love that one. We're almost near the end. I think... I think I'm on my last one, guys. And there's a couple more printables in the pack that I'm not showing you. This was just my favorite. So this one's my favorite. It's called Creative Cues. And so you get three bags, and then you print off these one, two, and threes. And then you draw one from each bag. So the first one is what you're going to do. The second one is the subject, and the third is the action. So, I'll show you, for example, and they're all color coordinated. So, like, this one's the yellow. So, this one says, take a photo. And this one is of a giraffe. Um, playing basketball. Okay? So, that's the kid's assignment. They've got to somehow figure out how to take a photo of a giraffe playing basketball. You know, whether they have a toy giraffe or if they have to draw a giraffe playing basketball or if they're going to go out to the basketball hoop and dress like a giraffe. And that's what's fun about it is that just kind of, you can do whatever you want. So let's do one more round because they're just fun. I just, they make me giggle some of the things that come out. So this one says, there's write a, write a story, write a poem, draw a picture, paint a picture, um, create with clay. So, if you print these up and you don't like your kids, some people hate Play-Doh. Some people don't want their kids to paint. So, you can pull out the things that you don't want your kids to do. So, this one's Create with Clay. So, I'll give some kids some Play-Doh. A Flying House. Um, and then the action is Juggling Birds. So, a Flying House Juggling Birds. Like, it, they're all pretty crazy and that's what the fun is about it. My kids totally... Um, giggle when they come up with it. But that's what's great about it is it totally, I mean the creativity is all there because it's just so crazy. So you can see that they're color coordinated so they're easy to go back in the bag. And like I said, you can pull out, um, you know, if you don't want your kids to paint or whatever, you can you could get rid of this bag and make them write stories or draw pictures or whatever. But there's a couple, there's act on a play, there's charades. So you could just have your kids do charades with these. But, and you don't necessarily have to put them in bags. I just think they're fun. And my daughter takes these babysitting. I just did a post about her babysitting bag, and these are in them. And they're just they're just silly. And that's what's so great about them. I love them. These are one of my favorites, all these creative cues. Okay, we'll do one more just because. We're, 
We're done. She says the best homeschooling game ever. That's nice. Okay, so we're going to draw a picture. Draw number two. Draw a picture of a fire-breathing dragon. Um, walking on the moon. So a fire-breathing dragon walking on the moon. So, see? They're just fun. So, um, my printable pack is in my Etsy shop. It's $5 until the end of March. So just two days until it, the price goes up. So if you want it, grab it. There's 50 pages of printables. Um, lots of really fun stuff. I've just kind of, you know, I've been a mom for, for almost 14 years. And it's, and not that I was poor, but, you know, we scrimped and we saved. And I just feel like kids don't need to have, you know, really expensive toys to have a lot of fun. And that's what I love about these. These are all the games that we've been playing for years. Like this one is, old. I mean, this one's probably four years old that my son has done. So it's just awesome stuff that I've learned that the kids have really liked. It's not anything that I feel like I have to force my kids to. Like if I said, you have to write a report, they would groan. But if I pull out the writing prompt cards, they're happy to do it. So... Um, go ahead. If you want them, you can grab the pack. I will link up to the blog post that I did that kind of explains everything that's in there because I didn't talk about all of them. I just kind of showed my favorites. So I will link that up. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great day.